Here we have a British Seagull. It's an outboard from 1957 to 58. That's the year of this model. However, they made them all the way from the 20s up until the 90s. Here we can see British Seagull. It's a cranked by a, you know, a pull cord by hand. I'm not sure exactly what kind of condition this outboard is in, other than it's not running. Uh, we can see here our fuel line is not connected and that, that plastic is very hard. I also see here that our, our throttle line, there is none, so that will need to be checked. Seems to be good compression just from the off. Not too sure when the last time this outboard was started, but it's safe to say it's been a very long time. So we're going to see if she'll actually run. No, there does not seem to be any spark. So since this outboard was left up for quite a while, it's safe to say that the points inside probably have corroded a little bit. I'm not sure if you can see that, but there's a slight lobe in this. You can see it's slightly flatter here in comparison to the rest. So that's what pushing the points back and over. You can see here that the points do look a little bit dirty. So we're going to clean them off with a bit of fine sandpaper. Okay, we're going to test for spark again. I don't think the spark is actually coming in soon enough. Ah, she started there alright. Now I know the engine's going to start and we have our spark uh, back again, we're going to have to sort out the fuel. So this carburetor probably needs a rebuild. So we're having trouble getting spark again. It's very inconsistent when you rotate the, the motor, you get spark for the first second or two, and then it's very, very intermittent after that. And that's not enough to start the engine. So we can test our coil because our points are cleaned and they're gapped correctly. Output of the coil and anywhere on the body. And you can see on the multimeter that there's literally nothing. What it should read is between, you know, three and a half and 5,000 ohms. So there's a break inside this coil. This coil has to be replaced. See a nice clean spark there. Alright, let's we're gonna clean this out and add some new lubricant. This stuff is probably ancient. Got a few of our parts cleaned up here. Uh, cleaned up from that dirty ool, all nice and clean. Got some new ool as well. I got 140 weight castor oil. Um, these classic marine outboards took very thick oil in their gearboxes. Um, even going thicker in very hot weather, up to 240 weight. Now it's truly finished. So the little sea board, oh, <clears throat> excuse me. So the little seagull, British seagull outboard is running great, runs fantastic. Um, pumping water good, spark is good now, starts up very easily, starts up first, first time almost. It, it's not that fast, it really isn't that fast, but it does, it does chug along very nicely. And it's not too loud either. I fit a little uh, aftermarket air filter piece. Just because these seagulls don't actually have uh, an air filter on them, as far as I know. And I had this part uh, lying around and it was a perfect fit, so I thought it might just be okay. And it seems to be running well with it on, it's not too restrictive or anything. The seagull is done and uh, hopefully it goes for many more years to come.